you know, it's no longer news that about 119 inmates escaped from the Suleja Medium Security Custodial Center in Niger State. Uh, that was on the 24th of April, if you recall. But a happy development is that more escapees, escapee inmates have been recaptured. Minister of the Interior, Olabumi Tunji Ojo, who didn't quite give any figure, however, uh, showed that a lot of hard work is ongoing uh, to reinforce the walls of custodial centers across the country. In addition, the minister hinted that the federal government would soon launch a world-class uh, fire academy expected to save foreign exchange by way of cutting down on foreign training. So let's share this story by TVC News's Sifon Asien. Sifon, let's go there. All right then. The Minister of Interior takes a tour of the medium security custodial facility in Kuje, Abuja. The reconstruction of the holding facility has got into an appreciable level following the 2022 attack by ISWAP fighters during which 879 inmates were freed. We made sure that uh, we made it a priority and we also thank Mr. President, President Bola Tinubu for the intervention fund that he provided, you know, for us to be able to achieve this. As you can see, uh, the, the, the perimeter fencing is completed. What we, are, what we are just doing is to be able to, we are putting solar uh, light across on both sides of the fence to provide uh, illumination, to provide light and um, uh, to, to secure this place. He also gives an update on inmates who fled from the medium security custodial facility in Suleja, Niger State, following last month's downpour that damaged the facility. Yes, we have recaptured a lot of people, and uh, work is actually going on, and uh, we're working with other sister agencies, but the details of that I won't be able to disclose in front of camera for security reasons, you know, not to jeopardize the hard work that our men in uniform are presently putting in. But you Nigerians know, can be rest assured, it's not going to be business as usual, it's business Unusual. Despite efforts to modernize custodial centers nationwide, many of the old facilities are begging for attention. Sifon ACN TVC News, Abuja. Many thanks, Sifon. Um, basically, you know, for me, the news here is uh, more about recapturing escapee inmates. Uh, this story is akin to the first one we, 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 we discussed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, custodial centers have been have known one or two escapes in, in the last two, three years. No more than that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, if, let, uh, let's look at it this way. Yeah. In this particular case, it's not even a case of jailbreak. Mm. It's a case of rainstorm. Yeah. You know, destroying, the, damaging the, the, play, walls. the walls and the uh, prisoners, I mean, the inmates escaping. Yeah. yeah. Which is natural in any case. Now, 119 inmates. That's quite a figure. Exactly. Escaped that night. And from the figures we have seen so far, I think only a total of 19 have been recaptured. The minister is telling us now that some other people have been recaptured, but he hasn't given us the figure. They will be recaptured. We, we don't, but for the figure that is available in public space, we have 19, about 19. So, which means we have about 100 of these people at large at large and that is very dangerous so and the possibility of getting them back is also slim no matter how intentional we could be about you know recapturing them what i'm trying to say is that when we witness situations like this where people suspects that 
are not yet, that some of them are even criminals, you know, are back into the society. What do you expect? We are if, talking about... Even the situation in the country. Yes, the, we are talking about bandits here yeah, now. What gives you the impression that some of these people may not be part of bandits operating in any parts of the country mm. or doing any other kind of... Uh, criminality, engage in any other kind of criminality. So what we are saying is that it is far, far better to prevent this from happening than to focus on recapturing when it happens. And I think that is where we should focus on. We should begin to look at how do we secure our correctional centers, what facilities should we put in place? How do, should the facilities look like? Now, after this, we are looking at uh, repair works. How many of our correctional centers are actually in good shape as we speak now? I think we should start well, looking... Otherwise, how many, uh, how, how much uh, correctional are they? <laughs> that is another case entirely. Mm. But, I mean, we should first of all try to ensure that we have standard correctional centers. Standard in terms of facilities, in terms of services, in terms of security, in terms of all kinds of infrastructure required for human beings to live. Then prevent escape, escaping, you know, jailbreaks and all of that, because when they happen, they happen we are not likely to recover them all. Mm. It's only in the Bible that they say it's, we went and recovered all. In this case, we may not be able to recover the criminals all. And if we don't recover them all, they are going to constitute danger to the society at large. Mm. So I don't want us to focus on rescue, no rescue. Let's go to the foundation of the problem and secure our Correctional centers. Yeah, if yeah. we need to invest money in doing this, we should start doing that. Otherwise, we will still be recording jailbreaks and this okay. kind of thing. Okay, but mine is the second leg of the story. Uh, government uh, wanted to give the Fire Academy a facelift. Which one is Fire Academy? <laughs> no, no. We have a Fire Academy. Uh, the, 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 the big idea is to make firefighting less cumbersome for us. See, we have, two, more, we have two, two numerous, you know, challenges. I, I don't want to be using problems because these are things we can solve if we really want to. Mm. Look at the, the issue of this break. It's not embarrassing for a huge country like Nigeria, you know, where that prison is cited and the ordinary world, you know, uh, uh, Thunderstorm, uh, thunder uh, wind, wind, and you look at timeline of jailbreaks in the last eight, ten years. It's embarrassing. It's yeah, a national but, but, but must... and embarrassment. And here, this is a time when some countries are even, you know, rethinking the idea of prisons. We are thinking of how we will build new ones and modernize. In some other countries, they are rethinking punishment. That let's do away with prisons. Let's talk about rehabilitation. Let's talk about this and all that. And we have places like Netherlands, like Norway, that they are closing their prisons. And they yeah. have a different strategy. Uh, there's a particular country that wants prisoners to come house, you know, people, their prisons. So, because they have, what, what, what they are doing now is they have, you know, less and less and less crime. And yeah. what that means is, you have a good governance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because that is key. In a society where everybody appears to be running as cascader just over food, we are even many people, you know, who are working class people are able to do basic things, you know. Kunle, but we must talk about modernizing the fire academy. Uh, fire is also something we take for granted in this country. As is, is it as it's as bad as most of the problems we have been discussing? No, no. When fire breaks out, when, when we have an outbreak, 
Uh, For example, here in Lagos, Lagos has a modern, you know, fire service system. Yeah. And anybody can attest to that. Mm -hmm. why, why can't the federal copy it? But, but the in federal, this Lagos no, no. state, in this federal, Lagos state, give it, give it to us. No, no, no. In this Lagos state, anywhere, fire up, you know, if there's any fire outbreak, the Osan Itulu and his team, they're everywhere. Mm. And with them, you will see they have every equipment as you have in abroad. They are doing well. You can copy it. We don't need to reinvent anything. Lagos State has, you know, set the example. So what's the big deal about that? No, no, no. The federal, the federal can, the they, federal no, can no. copy it. No, 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 no. Federal, okay, if you use the word copy, yes. no, no problem. Federal government wants to modernize the academy. They, they, should copy, they should copy the Lagos State example. No, they are just, even what they are saying is that they, they don't want to invest money in training firemen Se uh, you know, sending them sending abroad. them abroad to yeah. train them that they will be training them here in nigeria that's it and uh, honestly for me I'm it, it's a happy story <laughs> if you ask me um i'm like <laughs> shouldn't is this an invention shouldn't shouldn't this be what we should be doing why haven't we been doing this shouldn't no, we no. have been training in nigeria yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, the minister has said you that see, we will uh, be doing this. As they say, there is no wrong time to do it. Exactly. Anything. So now that uh, he has said that, you know, you just wonder what people before him have been doing. So the good news is that we want to be training them now in yeah. Nigeria. I don't see anything that is wrong. Of course, you said they can copy what is happening in mm -hmm. Lagos. They can still even bring the foreigners here. Remember... Uh, about two weeks ago, these northern governors, they went abroad so to, learn, uh -huh, to learn how to secure their... To discuss how to fight... How to, uh, how to uh, fight banditry uh, and uh, uh, all of that. <laughs> so it's good news that we are not going there. Mm -hmm. We can invite them to come and train us if they need to train us. But really, firefighting is very key. It's key. It's very key. It, it, it's it's very art. key. But you I see, also you see it's firefighting... Never mind, Kule. I also you know, even think that... Firefighting uh, is an art. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the, the Oibo man attacking a fire, you feel like clapping for them. It's, it's, it's very key. Mm. But what I just want to remind the minister is that they should not also forget to equip, to have uh, uh, up-to-date equipment. Mm. And they shouldn't also forget water. Mm -hmm. how to have access to good water when they want to go and embark on this uh, firefighting. Modernization of the fire academy will include all Yes, all I'm just things. saying that that should be included. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't forget about it because sometimes you have trained personnel mm -hmm. without uh, available or necessary equipment. So as people are being trained, there should also be equipment yeah. that will be needed to do the job so that we don't just get uh, well-trained personnel. Uh, uh, as they say, without uh, 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 the tools of the trade must yes, be there. Yes, they must be there so that, we can, so that we don't finish this one and start thinking of how to do the other one. Mm. Let the two run pari passu, as they say, yeah. so that we can get this off once and for all. Kunle, um, there's no wrong time to do a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's natural to kick the way you are attempting to do. But no, I'm not kicking. I'm not kicking. Yeah, but I'm saying... I'm not kicking. You know, modernizing... the hierarchy of our challenges, yeah. you know, I am of the opinion that we should attack the most pressing ones first, you know, and there are many of them. I do these things about fire. There's nothing bad in that, and I'm not opposed to it. But in priority, we have we don't have all the resources. I guess I guess the minister just mentioned <laughs> this one as resources. part of what the if he devotes if he devotes his energy to just you know reforming the prison yard alone, he will have all all his time consumed because. Nigeria yeah, is a so big many, country, yeah. and you can imagine how many we have all over Nigeria. Nigeria doesn't have a standard, you know, correctional service anywhere in the country. Yeah, to, to start Kule, to do Kule, that, um, it requires Kule, a lot of money Kule, and reforms. A, a, a little bit of history will not hurt anybody here. I cannot forget, uh, I don't know where you were 
on ja in January of 1983, when the net building, the tallest building uh, in Nigeria at the time, in fact, in West Africa, net building went up in flames. People died. And uh, so reforming the fire academy uh, cannot, it has come, it has come. I'm not opposed to it. Maybe yeah. you didn't get my message. That thing you mentioned cannot happen in Lagos of today. I'm too sure about that. Uh, <laughs> it cannot happen when, in, when, in when, Lagos when, of when, today. When, when, when you talk about no modern prison in Nigeria, um, except you are ready to take us there. Let's go to Ikorek Bene. <laughs> uh, the Senate president, when he was governor of Akwaibom, built a, a, a modern prison at Ikorekbene. Oh, I've not, I've not visited that. Then I take it. Okay, do. 